the government has approved the emergency use of the pediatric and toddler version of the BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine in Hong Kong. The authorities have urged the public to have their children vaccinated as soon as possible, especially if they plan to travel abroad. Meanwhile, the city today reported 4,788 new COVID cases, including 368 imported infections. Five of the imported cases involved the new XBB Omicron subvariant. Christy Kahn has more. The government said in a press release that Secretary for Health Lo Chong Mao has approved the emergency use of the pediatric and toddler version of the BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine in Hong Kong. Authorities said they were negotiating with the vaccine manufacturer about the timeline for its delivery. Meanwhile, a new community vaccination center in Wong Tai Sin Temple Square went into operation today to offer both BioNTech and Sinovac vaccination services to the public. Secretary for the Civil Service Ingrid Yuan, who is in charge of the government's vaccination campaign, inspected the venue this morning. Speaking to reporters, she said the city's vaccination centers are capable of administering around 60,000 COVID jabs every day. However, statistics show that currently fewer than 20,000 people get vaccinated each day. Yuan called on those who plan to spend Christmas overseas to receive at least one COVID shot by early next month. If you travel with your children, you have to give them enough protection. It will be troublesome if your children get infected abroad. For example, foreign language communication problems and being unfamiliar with the medical system overseas, she said. She added that more vaccination stations will be set up at convenient locations across the territory, even though some vaccination venues in some sports centers will eventually be closed. Meanwhile, some 20,000 COVID-19 vaccination medical exemption certificates issued by seven doctors are still deemed valid after a local resident applied for a judicial review. A high court judge yesterday imposed an interim injunction over the government's plan to invalidate the exemption certificates. The civil service chief today said holders of the certificates in question can still enter regulated premises such as government buildings. Christy Khan, TVB News.